Football is much more than four leather panels with stitching that's wrapped around 15 ounces of polyurethane lining and topped off with eight white leather laces. Much more than a game that's played on a blacktop, front lawn, or a field of grass 120 yards long and 53 and a third yards wide. Football is the best teacher I've ever known. It has taught me about life, death, joy and happiness, and pain and suffering. Football gives you the opportunity to say, you know what? I'm better than you and I can prove it. And you beat me on this play, but I'll dominate you the next. You won today, but I won't lose tomorrow. And you get to prove that over and over and over. Football is a game that's so powerful and intoxicating that it forces people to react. Some positive, some negative, but a reaction nonetheless. The ball itself is just a plain object. No feelings, emotions, not a Republican or Democrat, not gay or straight, but it is an object that allows those to express themselves. Like I said, the ball itself is just an object, but when you add emotion, passion, camaraderie, you now have a pastime that has captivated a nation. It's a game that unites us all, from the tradition-rich South to the rolling hills of the Allegheny. We can all relate. It doesn't matter if you're a Native American, an ice delivery man from Wheaton, Illinois, or a coach in the segregated South that went on to become a legend. We can all relate. And when I talk about relate, I'm talking about the little kid that couldn't get through a whole game without taking his ball in the front yard to go play pitch and catch by himself. I'm talking about the 31 year old professional that still gets goosebumps when he hears Keith Jackson's or remembering where I was when Hakeem dropped the ball! Oh. Hakeem dropped the ball! Ryan Mill might have fallen out of the 10 yard line! You gotta be kidding me! I love the New Orleans football guy! I'm talking about the guy that would rather listen to fight songs than anything else. Football is family to me. It's always there. Football would never divorce you. It won't lay you off. There's no broken homes, no hunger, no disease. Just peace of mind and serenity. You want to talk about inspiration? Football inspired me to pick up a mic so that I can continue to be a part of the game that has given me so much. So when you say I'm passionate about football, do you mean it? Or is it just lip service? Not me. I live it every waking day of my life. What you call sleep, I call game planning for the next day. Some say the saddest day of the year is when football season ends. I don't know what that day looks like or feels like. Football game plan is the place where that word off season doesn't exist. If it involves a pigskin, we cover it. That's passion. That's commitment. And I love everything about football from the thrill of victory Try and recover. Deshaun Jackson gets a block. Are you kidding? Deshaun Jackson. To the agony of defeat. From the jubilation of scoring the game winning touchdown. Stewart with time. Let's it go. He's got three people down there. The ball's up in the air. Caught. Touchdown. To the devastation of losing the game on a fumble. Everything about football I love, from the smell of the grass, the roar of the crowd, everything. Football is passion. Football is true emotion. So if you're ever looking for me, you know where to find me. Planning, talking, analyzing, coaching football. When I die, bury me at a football field. It doesn't matter if it's a Little League football field in the 8th Ward of New Orleans or a frozen terrain of Calgary, Alberta. It doesn't matter. Football only judges you on one thing passion you take football away you take me away so as long as football is around i will never die even after i'm physically gone i'm emory hunt and this is what football means to me